Hey everybody, Maria Marquis here. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can make sure that all of the information you need looks the way you want it to help you make decisions by using column types. So in Coda, columns are more than just text or numbers. It actually allows you to get really creative. So here, take a look at this table that I've got in front of me. There's a lot of different column types we're looking at. We've got your traditional select list drop-down menu. We've also got things like date pickers. But notice some of the other things we see. We have the ability for people to say, hey, I've got a question about this. We also have a progress bar. We've got a little scale icon that lets me say how challenging something is. And we also have a button that allows me to send a reminder about this task to the folks who are on our Slack channel. My other favorite is what's called a canvas column, which is essentially like a Coda doc inside of your Coda doc, where you can put all kinds of notes and even have different little templates in here, like maybe I want a Dory question table. So you can kind of have that deeper look inside. Now, the nice thing about every kind of column in Coda is that you have options to customize how it looks and how it feels. One of the most common that I see is adjusting how you want to see a date. So if I click right here and choose my column options, notice I can decide what format makes the most sense for me. Do I want to put the day before the month? Sure, go for it. Or maybe I just want to put the month in kind of a text format and then the number. You also can decide for a select list how you want those colors to appear under the column options. You can decide, oh, you know what? I also want to change how the progress bar looks. Click up here, go to column options. Instead of that blue, I could actually have it show red, yellow, green, so I get even more information about how this task is doing. And then under the scale, one of my favorites is you can just decide a different look and feel. Maybe the challenge should be coffee cups, or hearts, or chili peppers. The key here is that your data should feel like you. It should feel like home. And those column options allow you to make sure that it is exactly what you're looking for. So now it's your turn. Hop on into Coda, take a look at your tables, and see, hmm, what other kinds of columns might I need to help me understand what I'm looking at as quickly as possible? OK, I'll see you next time. Bye.